my name is Jean O'Donovan. I'm the registrar here at the Crawford Art Gallery. I'm here today with Philip Stokes, third generation horologist based in Cork. Philip is here to reinstate the 19th century clock mechanism on the facade of the Crawford Art Gallery looking out onto Emmet Place. The clock has been part of the fabric of the building since its creation in 1724 when it was Cork's custom house and has been a measure of time for the people of Cork City over the last 300 years and continues to be a welcome face uh, to the people of Cork City here today um, in the current building, which is the, of course the Crawford Art Gallery National Cultural Institution. This was made, I would feel, by probably a local clock maker very much uh, because it's very much of a clock, domestic clock style. Normally with a third clock, the weight would fall 15 feet or so over the week. So it had to be designed to accommodate this area. So that's why I feel it, it's a different, was made for this, this spot. If you look here, it's, he made these dust covers, right? So air, the movement is well enclosed. It has little, little hatches that, so you can access the movement for maintenance and working and everything. The clock weight has the pulley built into it. So the, the, the gut from the, the clock goes down and um, runs around this pulley. Now, he made it very simply, they put a pin through a lead block and the pulley wheel works in there. The pulley is, the weight needle say at the start of the week is at the top of the clock and then as the week works, works on, it works its way down to the ground. Right, so now we have the pendulum and the clock assembled. Um, as you can see, the pendulum is driven by what we call the crutch here, which, which uh, hits this every, you can hear the tick, and that's the tooth landing on the pallet above, which then sends an impulse here, which then drives this pendulum each way. Every week, or twice a week, the clock will need to be wound with a key. And what you're doing is you're just winding it this way. And what you're doing is you're pulling this Gut onto a, what we call a barrel a drum. This is the power. This is your motor. This is your your you know, no batteries, no electric, no nothing. It's just a lump of lead that's driving this whole mechanism. 